where you have been in this defense and where you are now starting this season. How do you feel the continuity is for yourself and for the unit? Uh, we got a good group. Uh, we got a lot of good players up front, in the middle, on the back end. Uh, got some solid depth. Um, a lot of guys that just understand the culture of the defense. So that's as good a position as you can, you know, start in, in on any team in any season. Um, but it's a journey, right? You know, so um, you certainly want to start fast. Uh, everybody's kind of getting out the blocks at the same time. Um, you know, we have a solid game plan, and, and it's going to be important for us to go out and play good in week one. You've been in the defense for a while. How long does it take, I guess, for the comfort level to get there? You were obviously the best coming in, but how long does it take for the comfort level to settle in and get the best you know, what then what you got to do? Well, I've, I've been fortunate enough to play for a lot of um, really good defensive coordinators. Uh, Rex Ryan, Ty Bowles, of course, uh, Dennis Allen, um, Ray Horton. And the thing that I've seen um, with, with defensive coordinators who've had a ton of success, I think, you know, it's kind of uh, two of the same principles, uh, the kill and the kiss. Keep it simple, stupid, and keep it learnable and likable. And I think um, when you have defenses like that, you know, it's easy to kind of come in and, and pick up and understand the concepts. And before you can play fast, you have to learn what to do. And I think, you know, the systems are, uh, this system in particular is one that, you know, you can pick it up, especially from guys coming from different organizations where a lot of the concepts are played. They may just be called different things, so. Um, said on Monday that he's going to play. He's not on the injury report. How amazing is that, just knowing how severe his injury was on Christmas and he's back and locked and loaded and ready to go? Well, I just think it speaks to his professionalism. It speaks to... Uh, how serious he takes his craft, you know, the time and uh, the energy and commitment that it would have took for anybody to return from that type of injury and especially the time that he's done it in and to return, um, you know, better than when he left. I mean, uh, to see him out there moving around, he looks, he looks, he looks more fluid than, than when, he, when he first arrived. And so um, he definitely is a difference maker in our defense, so we're, we're, we're better when we have him on the field. Isn't it cliche to say that this environment, this situation, might bring y'all closer together? I remember a few of y'all saying that uh, when you spent a week on the West Coast in 2019. Is it at all similar to that feeling? Yeah, the, the difference about you know NFL and college, um, even though you spend a lot of time at work, is when guys depart, they all kind of go their separate ways. Everybody have different lifestyles. Um, some guys married, some guys single, you know, and different position groups do different things. And so for the most part, when you're not in the facility, everybody kind of disperses and does, does their own thing. So when you have environments like this, it gives you a little more time to, to bond, be around people, see people with their families, and uh, just see guys kind of how they, how they are when they're away from the team. And so, um, you know, I don't, I don't know how much it helps bonding, but it's, different, it's definitely an added element, you know, from time spent with each other. Um, I think any anybody stepping into leadership roles in this game, um, the biggest thing is understanding your job and knowing how to do your job at a high level. And I think he's he's a guy that understands his role, understands how the team sees him, um, and knows how to do that, and has done it well for you know multiple seasons. Um, he's a fellow Mississippi guy, so of course you know I'm biased in, in, in all those Mississippi guys, but. I mean, he's, he's a true leader, you know, he's, uh, he understands his role and he plays it at a high level and he, you know what you're going to get from him every time he steps on the field and that's why he was selected captain on our team this year. Mario, do you mentor younger guys on how to control what you can control? Because I guess for, for veteran players it might be a little bit easier to separate one from the other. For younger guys, especially in a situation like this, it might be a little bit more stressful. Yeah. Um, I think everybody's different, you know, and so I think the best thing you can always do is do it by example. Um, my biggest thing is just making sure guys are ready for week one, whatever that is, you know. 
some guys that can be, you know, the added element of being, you know, in a different location. Some guys that could be uh, just the pressure of the season. Some guys in new roles. So everybody's kind of in a different place. And, you know, my job, especially uh, defensively and in my, in my position group with a bunch of young guys, just make sure everybody's ready to go uh, come, come Sunday. And that can be a number of things because um, the guys just in different stages of their career. Um, and handle it and handle situations differently, but I think that's that's the biggest thing. Just make sure guys ready for that 60 minutes of football that's going to take place on Sunday, and then the rest will take care of itself.